celebrate Joseph Bakita Virgin. Joseph Bakita was born near Jebel, Algeria, in South Dafar. Kidnapped while still very young, she experienced the culturally cruelty of slavery, and she was sold several times in slave markets of Africa. Finally, she was rescued by an Italian family and brought to Italy, where she not only became a Christian, but also felt a call to consecrate her life to God as a sister. She joined the Canossian sisters, Daughters of Charity and lived the rest of her life at Shio, a small village near Vicenza. And she died on the 8th of February, 1947. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. <coughs> Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meb and Massa they challenged me and provoked me although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, for he is our God. Let us with joy our voices raise in that heroic woman's praise, whose courage, strength, and holy pain have given her an honored name. O strength of all the strong God's Son, through whom alone great deeds are done, by your great strength and through her prayer, may we bear witness everywhere. The word of the Lord is a strong shield. <coughs> for all who put their trust in him. As for God, his ways are perfect. The word of the Lord pure is gold. He indeed is the shield of all who make him their refuge. For who is God but the Lord? Who is a rock but our God? The God who girds me with strength and makes the path safe before me. My feet you have swift as the deers. You have made me stand firm on the heights. 
You have trained my hands for battle, and my arms to bend the heavy bow. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Your strong right hand has upheld me, Lord. You gave me your saving shield. You upheld me, trained me with care. You gave me freedom for my steps. My feet have never slipped. I pursued and overtook my foes, never turning back till they were slain. I smote them so they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. You girded me with strength for battle. You made my enemies fall beneath me. You made my foes take flight. Those who hated me I destroyed. They cried, but there was no one to save them. They cried to the Lord, but in vain. I crushed them plain as dust before the wind. Trod them down like dirt in the streets. You saved me from the feuds of the people, and put me at the head of the nations. People unknown to me served me. When they heard of me, they obeyed me. Foreign nations came to me cringing. Foreign nations faded away. They came trembling out of their strongholds. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the living God, my Savior, be praised forever. Long life to the Lord, my rock. Praise be the God who saves me. The God who gives me redress and subdues people under me. You save me from my furious foes. You set me above my assailants. You save me from violent men. So I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing a psalm to your name. He has given great victories to his king. And shown his love for his anointed, for David and his sons forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Open my eyes, Lord, that I may see the wonders of your love. From the letter to the Galatians. In the past, when you did not acknowledge God, you served as slaves to gods who are not truly divine. Now that you have come to know God, or rather have been known by him, how can you return to those powerless, worthless, natural elements to which you seem willing to enslave yourselves once more? You even go so far as to keep the ceremonial observance of days and months, seasons and years. I fear for you. All my efforts with you may have been wasted. I beg you, brothers, to become like me as I became like you. Understand, you have not done me any wrong. You are aware that it was a bodily ailment that first occasioned my bringing you the gospel. My physical condition was a challenge which you did not despise or brush aside in disgust. On the contrary, you took me to yourselves as an angel of God, even as if I had been Christ Jesus. What has happened to your open-hearted spirit? I can testify on your behalf that if it were possible, you would have plucked out your eyes and given them to me. 
Have I become your enemy just because I tell you the truth? The people I have referred to are not courting your favor in any generous spirit. What they really want is to exclude you so that you may court their favor. It would be well for you to be courted for the right reasons at all times, and not only when I happen to be with you. You are my children, and you put me back in labor pains until Christ is formed in you. If only I could be with you now and speak to you differently. You have me at a complete loss. You who want to be subject to the law, tell me, do you know what the law has to say? There it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave girl, the other by his freeborn wife. The son of the slave girl had been begotten in the course of nature, but the son of the free woman was the fruit of the promise. All this is an allegory. The two women stand for the two covenants. One is from Mount Sinai and brought forth children to slavery. This is Hagar. The mountain Sinai, Hagar, is in Arabia and corresponds to the Jerusalem of our time, which is likewise in slavery with her children. But the Jerusalem on high is freeborn, and it is she who is our mother. That is why scripture says, Rejoice, you barren who bear no children. Break into song, you stranger, to the pains of childbirth. For many are the children of the wife deserted, far more than of her who has a husband. You, my brothers, are children of the promise as Isaac was. But just as in those days the son born in nature's course persecuted the one whose birth was in the realm of spirit, so do we find it now. What does scripture say on this point? Cast out slave girl and son together, for the slave girl's son shall never be an heir on equal terms with the son of the one born free. Therefore, my brothers, we are not children of a slave girl, but of a mother who is free. It was for liberty that Christ freed us. We are like Isaac, children born of the promise, not children born of the slave, but of the free woman. Christ has set us free to be free men. The Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Christ has set us free to be free men. From the homily of St. John Paul II, Pope. In Blessed Josephine Bikita, we have an eminent witness of God's fatherly love and a luminous sign of the potential relevance uh, of the perennial relevance of the Beatitudes. In our time, in which the unbridled race for power, money, and pleasure is the cause of so much distrust, violence, and loneliness, Sister Bikita has been given to us once more by the Lord as a universal sister, so that she may reveal to us the secret of true happiness, the Beatitudes. Here is a message of heroic goodness modeled on the goodness of the Heavenly Father. She has left us a witness of evangelical reconciliation and forgiveness, which will surely bring consolation to the Christians of her homeland, the Sudan so sorely tried by a conflict that has lasted many years and reaped so many victims. Their fidelity and their hope are a source of pride and thanksgiving for the whole church. At this time of great trials, Sister Bikita goes before them on the path of the imitation of Christ, of the deepening of Christian life and of unshakable attachment to the church. A new commandment I give to you that you love one another even as I have loved you, that you also love, 
that you also love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. In this saying we find the summing up of all holiness, the holiness which Jose Maria Escriva de Balagar and Josephine Bequita attained by paths that were different and yet met in one and the same goal. They loved God with all the strength of their heart and gave proof of a charity taken to the point of heroism through their works of service to their brothers and sisters. For this reason the Church raises them to the honor of the altars and holds them up as examples in the imitation of Christ, who loved us and gave himself for each one of us. Now is the Son of Man glorified, and in him God is glorified, the paschal mystery of glory. Through the Son of Man this glory extends to all that is seen and unseen. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom. This is the Son of Man. Was it not necessary that he should suffer these things and enter into his glory? These are those who have followed Christ in every generation. Through many trials they have entered into the kingdom of God, and your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Amen. I did not know him, but secretly I looked at the crucifix and inside me I felt a mysterious presence which strengthened me. When I shall be lifted up, I will draw to myself. Inside me I felt a mysterious presence which strengthened me. Awake, lyre and harp, with praise let us awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for you, my soul, has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O oh God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and heart. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise up of the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, 
He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen, they themselves shall be like watered gardens. Never again shall they languish. Then the virgin shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests. And my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion to Paul of the earth, the great king city. God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they have danced. They saw at once they were astounded, dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed, the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God. In the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all round it, count the number of its towers. Review all its ramparts, examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God. Our God forever and always, it is he who leads us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, the heavens are my throne and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house can you build for me? What is to be my resting place? My hand made all these things when all of them came to be, says the Lord. This is the one whom I approve, the lowly and afflicted man who trembles at my word. From the depths of my heart I cry to you, hear me, O Lord. From the 
the depths of my heart I cry to you. Hear me, O Lord. I will do what you desire. Hear me, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the depths of my heart I cry to you. Hear me, O Lord. Before knowing Christ, she unknowingly carried the cross. When she came to know him, she desired to serve him in holiness and justice all the days of her life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has up through his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets he promised to old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O oh God, who led, led St. Josephine Bakita from abject slavery to the dignity of being your daughter and a bride of Christ, grant, we pray, that by her example we may show constant love for the Lord Jesus crucified, remaining steadfast in charity and prompt to show compassion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. shall now say the rosary the Dominican form. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Lord, open my lips. O God, come to my assistance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. first luminous mystery, the baptism of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in the most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who the fourth uh, luminous mystery, the transfiguration. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth uh, luminous mystery, the Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our Jesus, and our hope. To thee we cry, hosanna, praising thee. To thee we 
and the first God, morning and evening, in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. How beautiful you are, O Virgin of Christ, who are worthy to receive the Lord's crown, the crown of perpetual virginity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, on this feast of St. Josephine Paquita, as we continue our celebration of our Novena of Our Lady of Lourdes, where we pray especially for those petitions in that basket there. Let us all hold those petitions in our heart as we confess our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Josephine Paquita from abject slavery the dignity of being your daughter and a bride of Christ, grant, we pray, that by her example we may show constant love for the Lord Jesus crucified, remaining steadfast in charity and prompt to show compassion to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. When Solomon was old, his wives had turned his heart to strange gods, and his heart was not entirely with the Lord, his God, as the heart of his, of his father David had been. By adoring Astarte, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Milcom, the idol of the Ammonites, Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not follow him unreservedly as his father had done. Solomon then built a place to Chemosh, the idol of Moab, and to Moloch, the idol of the Ammonites, on the hill opposite Jerusalem. He did the same for all his foreign wives, 
who burned incense and sacrificed to their God. The Lord, therefore, became angry with Solomon because his heart was turned away from the Lord, the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice. So the Lord said to Solomon, Since this is what you want, and you have not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I enjoined on you, I will deprive you of the kingdom and give it to your servant. I will not do this during your lifetime, however, for the sake of your father David. It is your son whom I will deprive. Nor will I take away the whole kingdom. I will leave your son one tribe for the sake of my servant David and of Jerusalem, which I have chosen. The word of the Lord. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Bless that they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Visit us with your saving help. But they mingled with the nations and learned their works. They served their idols, which became a snare for them. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons, and the Lord grew angry with his people and abhorred his inheritance. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it, but he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth and she begged him to drive out the demon from her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, for saying this you may go, the demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. Please remain standing for our petitions because we're having our novena. The novena talk, as you know, is after Mass because some of you are going to work and not attending the novena. So we want to be mindful of all these petitions there that people have sent in, wanting us to join with them in praying for those petitions. So, for the children of the kingdom and their holy leaders, that they may reach out to those who do not know the power and love of Jesus Christ, healing and witnessing in his name, we pray to the Lord. For the leaders of nations whose hearts have turned to the gods of power and greed, that they may be converted to the God of life and truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That the faith and humility of the Syrophoenician woman may be manifested in all those who wish to obtain the merciful energy of the Savior to drive out the evil of our own day, we pray to the Lord. Lord. That Jesus who cured and comforted the people of his own time may come to the aid of the sick, the poor, the grieving, the imprisoned, the addicted, and all who need our prayers today through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes, we pray to the Lord. For all the secret intentions you carry in your hearts and for all those petitions over by the statue of Our Lady of Lourdes, we pause in silence. 
for these intentions we pray to the Lord. And for all our faithful departed ones, especially for Mary Margaret Powers, we pray to the Lord. And let us now entrust all of these special intentions to Our Lady of Lourdes. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray all these things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that have become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that have become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and the Virgin, Blessed Josephine Bakita, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, <clears throat> Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you've made all things, whom you've sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. And let us share a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Be 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. For those joining at a distance, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Blessed Josephine Paquita, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. St. Michael, Amen. the Archangel, defend us now. We are protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil.
we can turn to page 13. We will pray together the Novena prayer and the prayer to St. Jude. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy, you are the refuge of sinners, the health of the sick, and the comfort of the afflicted. You know my wants, my troubles, and my sufferings. By your appearance at the Grotto of Lourdes, you made it a privileged sanctuary where your favors are given to people streaming to it from the whole world. Over the years, countless sufferers have obtained the cure for their infirmities, whether of soul, mind, or body. Therefore, I come to you with St. Jude as my patron to implore your motherly intercession. Obtain, O loving mother, the grant of my request. Through gratitude for your favors, I will endeavor to imitate your virtues that I may one day share in your glory. Amen. Saint Jude, glorious apostle, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of difficult and desperate cases. Pray for me who am in need of God's mercy. Make use, I implore you, of that privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where help was almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and help of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly and that I may praise God with you and all the elect throughout all eternity. I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor. I will honor you as my special and powerful patron and encourage devotion to you. Saint Jude, pray for us and for all who honor and invoke thy aid. Amen. From the appearances of Our Lady of Lourdes to Bernadette. The lady told her that she should go and drink at the fountain and wash herself. Seeing no fountain, she writes, I went to drink at the Gave. She said it was not there. She pointed with her finger that she was to go under the rock. She went and she found the puddle of water which was more like mud. And the quantity was so small that she could hardly gather a little in the hollow of her hand. Nevertheless, she obeyed and started scratching the ground. And after doing that, she was able to take some. The water was so dirty that three times she threw it away. The fourth time, she was able to drink it. She made her eat grass growing in the same place where she had drunk once only. She, she did not know why. Then the vision disappeared and she went home. Jesus, if you notice from this morning's gospel, is not always soft or cuddly. Just ask the Canaanite woman in today's gospel and I'm sure she can tell you all about it. She's not one of the chosen people. She's an outsider, and insiders, and that insiders don't want to be around. There is just something about her that makes her unacceptable. Life for her is neither simple nor easy. She needs help, and so she comes to see Jesus. Jesus loves her, I'm sure, but he ignores her, and then he calls her a dog. Why would he do that? So many people have tried to explain it away, offering some excuses to justify Jesus' behavior. 
but I've never found any of them really convincing. Maybe Jesus was just tired and having a bad day. Or maybe they say Jesus was just trying to teach his disciples something. And I response, really? At the expense of this woman and her daughter? Others say that he was testing her faith as if her life was not enough to have been tested already. Regardless of what Jesus did that day, I don't think that many of us like it. For some, it makes us uncomfortable. That's not often the Jesus we want, but that is the Jesus that we get in today's gospel. And sometimes, sometimes that is the Jesus that we get in life. I know that there are days when many of us pray and we get no answer. We come before God and offer all that we are and all that we have. We express our feelings. We speak our words, we make known our needs, and nothing happens. And this is probably the biggest reason why people have come to see me. We wait, and we listen, and God is silent. It's almost as if we're talking to the walls of our room, and if you have ever felt this way, then you know this Canaanite woman. I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Jesus tells him. For her, however, there are no words, no gestures, no explanation, no acknowledgement. Nothing at all. What do we do when this happens? So people come to me when their prayer prayers they feel are not reaching the ears of God. They come and they ask me why. Why is God silent? Why am I ignored? And I wish I knew, but I don't have an answer. And even if I did, I don't think that they would find it satisfactory. So there is one thing that I do do. I say, go back and pray and pray and pray. Regardless of what God does or does not do, I say to them, show up. Even if it seems that God does not. And that's what this Canaanite woman did. She could have gone home that day, argued with Jesus. She could have asked why, but she didn't. Instead, at that moment, she came closer to Jesus and she fell before him and kept worshiping, saying, Lord, help me. This woman who seemingly was ignored and rejected by Jesus at that moment moves closer, entering deeper into his silence, and he, she begs, yes, like a dog, and she keeps showing up, trusting that somehow it is enough just to be there before him. And at some times, at some point, Jesus acts. She only knows that she will be there when he does do something. This time he answered, it's not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. The words are so harsh, so mean, so wrong, but that's the world in which Jesus lived and where this Canaanite women, woman met. It's not easy life, it's not simple. And dogs don't eat the children's food in this world, and this woman knows that. And she even agrees with Jesus. She says, yes, Lord, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Again, at that moment, she found a way to show up and to be present when it seems everyone and everything is against her. And this time, Jesus speaks and asks, and acts, Great is your faith. At this very hour, your daughter is healed. So what do we do with that? Some people say, well, he wore him down. Jesus relented so that she might be quiet and go away. Sometimes, I think we feel the same way. 
Some say she was rewarded for her persistence, and maybe both you and I know of a persistence that did not get rewarded, which is ours, but what is the difference? Others will suggest that Jesus realized that he was wrong and changed his mind. I don't think so. This is, again, a passage, a story from Scripture that is about our faith and our life. Yes, life is difficult. Living our faith and deep abiding faith is a struggle. And God may do or not do what we want. But if we don't show up to pray, my brothers and sisters, all that will do is deepen the, divine, the divide between us and God. Because it means that we will not be there when God acts. We will not be there and we will miss it. We will miss that moment of healing. We will miss those words of forgiveness. We will miss the acts that he transforms and we will never know that tremendous power and the love that God and Christ show to us. People coming and showing up. And that's what I see when I have been at Lourdes or when people come before the Blessed Mother to ask for the petitions that she might lay them at her son's feet. And one of the ways that you see at Lourdes, and I think all of us know it, and the reason why we have been doing it before Masses during this novena is playing the rosary. And it was that rosary that played such an important part in the life of Bernadette and in the role of the apparitions. It was only after Bernadette began the recitation of the rosary that Mary appeared and she left very soon after the recitation. So why is the rosary so powerful at Lourdes and during this time and every time in our days when we pray it? Because the mother of God prayed it with Saint Bernadette. And in fact, in each of the 18 apparitions, Our Lady appeared with rosary beads within her hands and prayed with rosary. Six of these apparitions were taken up solely with the praying of the rosary by the young visionary, as were the greater part of the other 12. When Bernadette prayed the prayers of petition, Our Lady silently fingered her own beads. And it was at the Gloria that she joined in. The fact that St. Bernadette prayed the rosary is not as significant. The fact that Our Lady encouraged her to pray, and that's what we do when we pray and pray the rosary, Our Lady has encouraged us to pray. And at that very first apparition, St. Bernadette was in such a state of shock that she was unable to make the sign of the cross, and this is how she describes it. I put my hand in my pocket, and I found my rosary beads. I wanted to make the sign of the cross, but my hand couldn't reach my forehead. It just fell, and the shock grew stronger. When I was at Lourdes, someone told me that one of the reasons when he prays and comes before our mother, and he prays the rosary, he is drawn into the gaze of Mary. He is drawn into his, her comforting arms. And it reminds me of the Memorare. Never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection or implored thy help was left unaided. Mary is a loving mother. Mary is someone that wants us to pray. And through our Blessed Mother, we are led to a closer relationship with her son, Jesus. And the rosary that you and I pray is an invitation, yes, to go over the life of Christ, but also to present our needs to God, which is why, again, we pray. 
but more than our needs, my brothers and sisters, when we pray it, as in all prayer, we will be asked to deepen our relationship with Jesus. We will be asked to change our lives. We will be asked to leave our old ways behind together in our prayer with Mary in the footsteps of her son. But we need not be afraid because our Blessed Mother is here to protect us. And so that rosary gives us a real insight into the relationship between mother and son. And only as a mother can, she knows the heart of her son. She knows and understands that deepest longing to redeem us, that he wants to redeem us in whatever our need is that we bring before him. And I believe that she is utterly confident that he will answer her request maybe above all others. And it is. Have a blessed day.